Hey there everybody, so this morning I'm walking with Laura the German Shepherd on this freezing cold morning. So I just want to show you um, more about the structured walk and why it's so important to take your dog on structured walks, especially if you are looking to um, train your dog to be more calm and more collective and more controllable. So for those of you who don't know, Laura's here for board and rehab. She is intensely um, overly excited, uncontrollable, and with a little bit of separation anxiety. So this is how the structured walk looks. Let's see if you can see Lara here. So as you can see, um, the structured walk, Lara's at my heel. Um, let's see if we can get her nicely to the frame here. Yes. So Lara's at my heel. She's not allowed to look or scan for other dogs. Not allowed to stop on the walks to uh, mark a tree or to potty. Um, she's not allowed to be barking and whining at other people, dogs, etc. She must basically just maintain this heel position um, and not break it. So that's all she must do, just follow. And um, one thing that people take for granted about the structured walk is how calm and collective it is. So as you can see, how nice and calm she is. You can see her tail is down. She's, it's not up in the air wagging. And as you can see by her head, although she is scanning a little bit and we are working on that, um, she's not overly excited. So I want you to keep your structured walks nice and calm, especially if you're struggling with a dog that is overly excited. So some of the things that you can do, let me just change position here. Get out of the road. Some of the things you can do to maintain that calm state of mind on a walk and make sure your dog does not go bat crazy is, um, for example, when you stop, the dog must do a default set. So this is how that looks. Let's see if we can get Laura here. So there we stop. Laura must do a default set. Um, if you're stopping and your dog does not do a default set, simply put pressure up and then your dog will do a nice default set. Let's go! And then Laura must walk on command. So once again stop, default set, let's go! And now we're off again. And notice that I'm walking nice and slowly. I'm not walking fast, I'm not power walking, I'm walking nice and slow and calm. So what you can do is you can do these training drills where you stop, dog does default sit, let's go, walk two minutes, stop, dog does default sit, let's go. Or what you can do is you can do the 180 as well. So this is how the 180 looks. I'm simply going to turn around. And now she's back, as you can see there. So there are some things that you can do to get your dog nice and calm on the walks but make sure the most important thing is that you're walking nice and slow so don't go and power walk so thank you so much for watching uh, i hope to hear some more emails from you guys about your progress with your dogs it's always nice to get those emails and um, yeah if you're interested in laura's story or if you have a dog that is just as excited and out of control as she is follow her story on my facebook page and learn the, the steps we take and the things we do to rehab these dogs and train them to be nice and calm. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys again soon.